The weather was cold. It was a dreary January evening in Washington, D.C. Yet a multitude of people gathered on the steps of the United States Capitol. This spontaneous outpouring in 1871 was like nothing the nation's capital had seen for years. The rotunda soon filled to capacity. After a speech, Supreme Court Justice David Davis raised the red, white, and blue American flag to reveal what all had come to see, the marble statue of Abraham Lincoln. Applause broke out, filling the rotunda and washing over the statue and its creator, the young woman sculptor, Vinnie Rehm. Just 23 years old, Miss Rehm hardly looked like a master craftsman. The saga began on a dreary evening in April of 1865, when a shot rang out at Ford's Theater in Washington. The next day, the country learned that Abraham Lincoln had died. One person destined to be affected by the news was Vinnie Rehm, then a teenage girl and a young apprentice sculptor who was modeling the president. Vinnie Rehm was born in Madison, Wisconsin on September 25, 1847. Vinnie Rehm learned how to draw and paint from Winnebago Indians in Wisconsin. Later in 1854, as a child of seven, she had played with clay often during her visits to the Washington, D.C. studio of sculptor Benjamin Paul Akers after her family had moved to the city. Vinnie Rehm and her family left Washington when her father accepted a surveying assignment in Kansas. But she was sent to a women's college in Columbia, Missouri. When the Civil War began, the family returned to Washington where Vinnie Rehm obtained a job with the Postal Service. Miss Rehm served as a volunteer for war relief and wrote letters for wounded soldiers. She sang in benefit concerts and sang as a paid vocalist at local churches. In 1863, Missouri Congressman James Rollins took her to see the sculptor Clark Mills at the United States Capitol. He invited her to return as a student helper. Miss Rehm made the most of working in the studio at the Capitol. She rapidly made portrait busts and relief medallions of many notables, including Pennsylvania Representative Thaddeus Stevens. Vinnie Rehm developed Lincoln busts and relief medallions that were praised by colleagues of the martyred president. After Lincoln's death, Vinnie learned that interest was growing for a statue for the U.S. Capitol. The KG Republican patriarch Thaddeus Stevens championed the idea and orchestrated a resolution to give Vinnie Rehm the coveted commission outright. The commission reflected post-war views about a new birth of freedom that broke down many barriers. Vinnie Rehm became a living symbol who stood for a distinctive form of art that represented common Americans rather than cultivated aristocrats. The act of Congress giving a major art commission to a teenage girl from the West created a rhubarb of regional rivalry. Vinnie Rehm became famous overnight. During the impeachment of President Andrew Johnson, a brouhaha erupted again when Vinnie Rehm was targeted to influence the vote of Senator Edmund Ross. Vinnie Rehm denied involvement, but the subtle Miss Rehm was sympathetic. She would often be credited with preventing Andrew Johnson's premature ouster from the presidency. After the Lincoln model was completed and approved, Miss Rehm and her parents sailed for Europe, where the statue would be rendered in marble. In late 1870, Vinnie Rehm returned with her marble statue of Lincoln, 
which was soon unveiled at the Capitol in a dazzling ceremony attended by the highest officials of the government. Vinnie Ream established a studio briefly in New York during late 1871, when her marble ideal works arrived from Europe. Perhaps the most notable work on display in New York was a marble statue of the controversial ancient Greek poetess Sappho. Another ideal work was a marble statue of the biblical prophetess Miriam. Vinnie Ream's largest major work was a 10-foot-tall bronze figure of Civil War Admiral David Farragut. The Farragut was unveiled amid great fanfare in 1881. She submitted a bid for the Lincoln Memorial, and at the time of her death in 1914, she was making a statue of the Cherokee linguist Sequoia, a work completed by George Julian Zolney. Today, Vinnie Reams' legend lives on, and she has been featured in the official guidebook of the United States Capitol. Her Lincoln statue continues to affect its observers. During the funeral of President John F. Kennedy, many were moved as the image of Mr. Lincoln appeared to be gazing sadly down on the scene. As one of the oldest works in the Capitol, the statue ultimately came to symbolize the mutual triumphs of a martyr president whose ideas prevailed and a young woman's artist's success in a provincial world.